So yo guys, Captain Banana here today with another Rush War video. This is episode 3 and I am doing a collab with my buddy named Captain Loser. So say hi. Hello, hey guys, Captain Loser here. Today we're playing some more Rush War. I didn't really get feedback on the other one, so I'm just going to keep going. Hope you guys enjoy and yeah, take it away Banana cuz you you're the main guy. Okay, so um, I've been doing many videos, and so I've been promoting Legal Games, their new game, Rush War, and I got a prize for them doing that. I got 300 gold. You know, I, I mean, that's $30 worth of gold. I'm yeah. pretty dang happy, I mean. Did, like, someone paid $30 just for him because he, because he's been promoting it. I mean, I've been trying, but I haven't, they haven't okay. noticed me yet. And, yeah, so I got, like, 300 gold, and as you can see, I have so many troops I've been saving up. And if I go on my barrack right now, I have 512 troops training right now at this moment. It's going to take six, oh no, five hours. It's a pretty dang long time. So today in this video, we're going to show you some tips and tricks and what we're trying to improve on and what we already improved. As you can see, this is the type of real time I'm talking about. It takes five, it was seven hours, but it's currently taking five hours to redo my city hall to level six. And I can't really speed it up because I don't have any work. Wait, you're upgrading your city hall to six? Yeah, that's what I said. I said that before we started recording. What? Uh, mine like, is not even six. So, you okay. like, oh, whatever. You can upload to six, whatever you want. Like, Our guild has all moved to Poland. So uh, everyone that has a green flag is in our guild. So Captain Loser's right there. I'm right here yeah. with my two wonderful cities that I just, I got a new city yeah. right here. He has two cities right here. And I, yeah. don't, I, don't, I don't see anyone else. When I'm going to show you a few quizzes that you could complete every day. Um, one of the questions that I would say to complete if you kind of just started, I would say to get the Acquire 5 cur ba Courage Badge levels. You just okay. have to attack level 1 to 3 Wildernesses and if you get Courage Badge every single time you attack them. And when you get attack them, you get a few mercenaries which gives you about like 200 troops for 200 pikemen and 200 militia. So that's pretty great. I got a lot of those few mercenaries. Yeah, so Here's the actual quest right here if you're looking from my perspective. I haven't completed it yet because I'm not much of a fighter when it comes to the fighting part of the game, but I will actually try to complete it now. So I'm actually going to launch an attack. And here are your heroes. The heroes are the people who lead the fight. The heroes are the people who yeah. lead the troops. And without heroes, you cannot fight anything because they are the leaders. I mean, you get one hero off the start and... I would suggest attacking and build a coaching house. When you build a coaching house, you could buy heroes from there. Um, it, it matters when you upgrade it. For instance, if you upgrade this, you could get 1 to 15 level heroes. So the more you upgrade it, the more higher level heroes I got. I bought a level 10 um, um, hero right there. So I have two. One's in the city and one's outside, um, you know, attacking wildernesses so as you can see i have 8623 8, prestige and there's a lot more pe people playing as you can see 1612 oh, yeah. but most of them are most of them don't actually play so i'm gonna go try finding myself in this list of people who actually who play yeah, actually, what rank am I currently? I am currently 144. Yeah, I'm dropping fast. I really need to play. And more. I am currently 105 because a lot of people are actually playing and rising higher than me. So I need to actually step up my level and try beating everyone else. I got a battle report. So I actually see, as you can see, I attacked a level 3 wilderness um, and I got 6,000. Yeah. That's a little, but. Anyways, I got a gray courage badge, and that's pretty great. And let's see how much I do have right here. So you could go check it out in your chest right here. You could go to chest, local products, reduction speed ups, or main. So I would just go to chest, and I, as you can see, I have two gray courage badges and two yellow courage badges. Those yeah. are really hard to get. Yeah. So a lot of problems I see in cities is that when you click on your walls, you have options to make traps, barbaric, um, by our oh, big hands, I think, and rock vault. And when you make those, it helps defend your city from attackers. So, for instance, if they were to attack, they most likely will lose against my city since I have 305 trap, 238 bar big hands. Those are actually really right. strong against defenses. And yeah, 
And I think I said this in my previous video, you could heal troops right here. So I'm going to cure some of my troops that were lost in the war. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. And the one of the things people don't actually know in this game, you're supposed to have a lot of cottages. I mean, a lot. Since I have seven right here and one's two is level six and there's all level fives, most of them are level fives and two level six. You're supposed to have a lot of cottages because they actually help your population go out. Mine's going downward. I don't know not. I do not know why. I don't know the, the how the population works. Maybe. Yeah. The more heroes you have, the m less silver you get because it, it. Yeah, you have you know, to pay have, them. They have to get yep. their money worth. So yeah. actually, yeah. So they have to get. They have an actual uh, salary actually. Huh? Actually, so I just got my fifth courage badge as you can see right here. So I just completed the quest in the daily barter and I can collect my few merchants. And how yeah. I, I am getting all this items from my farms and my mines and all all that. So what you do is when you go inside it, you could train your workers. The more workers you have, the more it produces. It doesn't matter about the level, it just matters about the workers. So as you can see, I have 3,000 miners, 3,000 masons, 3,000 farmers. And right now I'm currently Damn. trying to get about 3,000 loggers. So I'm gonna keep training 100 over and over again until I complete the quest. Okay, so one of my current quests is get one Carterman. So another thing I think a lot of people don't know is when you attack certain places, you get certain items. So obviously when you attack trees, you get wood and they're not always exact. Like you won't always get trees, but here in this jungle right here, I get Carterman. It is a level four, so I'm not going to attack it now, but you can get certain items for certain things instead of trying to acquire it through quest. So I'm going to end this episode right here with you guys. Please like and subscribe and check out rush war links will be down below in the description and and captain loser channel uh. and, and captain loser channel will be down below too and freedom is sponsoring rush war so thank you freedom and thank you rush war for making this game i mean legal games for making this game so see you guys all later and peace out and bye